This is ten. I'm gonna do that seven more times. Around about seven at least. That's two thousand pounds already, but that's why I parked the <laughs> the truck really close. I should do it in eleven, so it'll be quicker. So we have to do it a bit less altogether, but it'll still be the same amount of trades I'll have to do. I'll have to click on it and then buy it. Same amount of time is better, just take less motions of doing it. Less chance of getting shot, at least. This is really convenient. <laughs> this is actually spawned here. It's a sign that I'll have to start buying the supplies now. I don't necessarily have to start building straight away, but it would be handy to them. Which I probably am going to do. Actually, what am I doing? I'm just buying briefcases. <laughs> it's not good. It's not a good start, at least. Yeah, I was wondering why I was losing so much coins so quickly. And this could be a bit of a problem. Oh dear. This is not good. Well, there is a bit of a distance. About 2,000 meters, maybe? If I'm lucky, straight across. I don't think anyone will come by here. At least they won't expect me to be here. Oh, this has literally been going on for a few minutes now. I think the only downside to trying to get this stuff. But I'm not actually losing any blood, I'm not sure why my guy's screaming. Definitely overburdened too much. That's a bit of it. I don't think I can actually gain access to a car anymore. Okay, we should be good now. There we go. <laughs> Managed to get into the back seat, so... Yeah, I've definitely got enough room to carry all these supplies. But uh, the only thing that I'm actually keeping on me is just the... Just uh, the basic supplies that I'll need if I do get shot at. There's food, and drink, and then blood bag, and painkillers and morphine. Just in case. It's always one thing you want to keep on you if you ever are on your own in your building, or just getting supplies. There we go, just lock that just in case. Worst does come to worse. So now I just have to buy a safe. There we go, now I can just buy a safe now, and I should have around 60 cinder blocks now. So, just about all the way there, and then everything else cost a lot less than this, so. That took me 300,000 coins around there, around that mark, to buy all this. So what I'm probably going to do is have the... A garage here, and then have the base up a bit higher, but have the base and the garage connected, so the garage can be like an airlock type thing until I actually get enough currency to build an airlock in front of the garage, so at least they won't have direct entry to the house. There'll be another door blocking that, so they have to break through that as well if they do uh, decide to raid. If they get in through the garage and they do have a chainsaw or something with them, then the base will be on from there. Should be good. Um, so I'll put the safe probably somewhere a decent space away. I'm not sure there. Let's make sure I'm not getting overburdened. Yeah, I'm over 100 pounds. <laughs> Twice that. Twice more than I should. If I want to stay not overburdened. Let me check that. Oh wow, that's right there. I might actually try and do that. Um, I'll just store all of this in here. Well, this is the money I originally had, was 3,702. So I spent all of the coins that I had from the briefcases. So I shouldn't be losing anything if I do end up dying. But I'll put the key and everything inside of this safe. Since the other one is full for the time being. Uh, I'll probably just take this into the safe and then bring it back out of my inventory. Just for the mission. Get rid of that. I'll get a backpack off of the AI, possibly. Should hopefully be safe from for now at least. 
put the key in after I lock this. But the main reason why I'm doing this is because I can't really go and buy these supplies if it's right there. Because uh, there's there, a building, a town, and then that. So there are people coming from the treasure mission as well towards here, so it's locked up. Should be safe to head off now. Is that another body? Is that a player? Uh, it's like the roots of a tree and then a bit further down that tree line. That's definitely a player there. Dead. There's definitely something going on here. I think not best if I took this backpack actually. Let's leave that there. Yeah, if they see me, I'm pretty much dead. I know someone's here, definitely. I'll get back this way. Oh, there's no zombie no no no. No. Oh, I'm gonna run. Let me get back behind cover into this. This isn't good at all. Goodness, but that body right there that I just quickly managed to get, I'm not sure how. Somehow it did. Uh, he had half a briefcase on him. His backpack. It's 510 ounce, and I just quickly grab his SV. isn't good with these zombies here though. Really bad. I'm not sure they should not know. Looks like someone up on that tree line. Now's my chance to escape. So cut across here. In the trees. Yeah, it looks like they're focused on someone else now. That was really lucky I managed to get out of that alive. I know that was really risky actually going for the gear anyway, but. I just thought I'd just go for it anyway, and didn't have anything to lose apart from a gun. It's just not a Bavarian rifle. Just missed our night vision, but so not even night vision needed for this server, so... Well, on the rare occasion it does happen, but... Which isn't too often. I don't think he was shooting somewhere up on this hill. Not entirely sure where. I'm just back at Trader City Bash. Now, time to get the 17 more cinder blocks and then mortar buckets, tank traps, and metal poles should do it. There we go. So now, this should get me pretty much everything. So, tank traps are there. I can get these in a set at the uh, wholesalers, but. 2700 and you get 12. It's probably the same price, and this is a safe zone, so it's more safer, of course, since it's a uh, disabling of bullets. Now, all I need is mortar buckets after this, and then the tank traps and 
Metal walls. Should just be about done. Because I don't need too many of the rest of these supplies. I just need four metal poles, which should be everything. Oh, then I need to get two combination locks after that. Four of these and then two combination locks. And hopefully, should be good. Then I'll have to wait till restart, because it's just about to restart right now. And uh, I'll have to convert these back into briefcases and store them back in the safe so they won't get stolen. At least I won't lose them when I die, if I do die. Probably will, because this is a lot of gear. And if I go overburden too many times, I will die. Probably not, but it might happen. Who knows. And whilst I'm booting, I could possibly get shot and killed. That should be just about everything. That's pretty much it. There we go. Let's lock that so nobody else takes off in it. <laughs> that would be a lot of gear going to waste. And then I'll just buy two briefcases. It's probably bought, yeah, two briefcases too many, but it's rather have more than not enough. But uh, I am cutting down on a few walls, because I'm not entirely sure if I'll actually need them or not. So I just bought less, which is why I have a lot of currency left over. Probably, yeah, take some of this out. So I'm not running around with a full amount. Time to head out. So pretty much came with five briefcases. I went back out with three. So I got 24 buckets of mortar. And the rest of the cinder blocks that I need, which was 17, I just had another seven for the garage door and normal door. I've got four combination locks. I only need two, but just in case one gets destroyed, I can just easily replace it, or I decide to build another wall, I can just replace that straight away back at base. So I'm not risk losing a combination lock, which... I don't know, this seem very useful. Just be less people without codes on their doors, I guess. At least my code. Four metal poles, which is just about right, and 16 traps, which I only need five, but it's just another one just in case something happens, because you never know. Tank might come along, which is highly unlikely, <laughs> but it might come along and destroy that. But I want to go back the way I came, which is through the trees, uh, since the roads are heavily guarded with bandits in the area, just all over the server pretty much, especially in armored vehicles. I'm just going to play this safe because I've got a lot of gear on me at the moment but uh, I do not want to risk losing anytime soon. Get us back to the safe. Safely unarmed. There we go. So this is the AI building supply mission. And it looks like the AI have actually been fixed so it was a bug that the weapons disappeared. Oh, there's a few more still alive. Just one more, yeah. Just get him before he sees me. There we go. Easy. Done. Mission's mine. I've actually got a helicopter back behind me on this hill, so I can just take off in that with the building supplies. Well, F and foul. Sweet. I'll drop that onto this guy. That's not good. I'll take this guy down. leaves but um I'm gonna wait for this to actually arrive the mission so I'll quickly go there uh, get the mission and I'll come back into the trees and just sit and wait for the supplies to get back and I'll flank around back on the hill and check out the little bird see if they've landed or not